Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to discuss a supplement that I consider the closest to being a genuine longevity supplement, one that can actually work deep at a cellular level. Welcome to IM Longevity, where we dive deep into overlooked aspects of longevity. Today, we're talking about beta alanine, a powerhouse amino acid you probably never heard of because it's rarely mentioned on popular longevity supplement sites. Big mistake. You'll discover how this remarkable compound supports fast switch muscle fibers, activates longevity genes, dramatically reduces harmful advanced glycation end products, ages for short, and may even extend the hay flick limit. Curious about what the hay flick limit is? Stick around as I explain it all in detail along with many more surprising facts about beta alanine that could change the way you think about aging and fitness. Stay tuned. I'm going to unveil how beta alanine turbocharges your exercise performance, health, and longevity, as well as its potential side effects, dosage, and more. This is a must-have supplement for anyone who wants to live a long, healthy life. Let me show you why. First, what is beta alanine? Beta alanine is a non-essential amino acid, which means our bodies can produce it, but we can also obtain it through our diet and supplements. It's not just any amino acid. Beta alanine is the limiting precursor to carnosine, a dipeptide found in high concentrations in skeletal muscles, and which plays a significant role in muscle function, neurological processes, and heart and gut health. The term limited precursor means that the synthesis of carnosine in your body is limited by how much beta alanine is available. Carnosine levels cannot increase beyond a certain point unless there is an adequate supply of beta alanine to support its synthesis. So why is this important? Carnosine acts as a buffer, reducing acidity in muscles during high intensity exercise. This buffering capacity helps to maintain optimal pH levels in muscles thereby delaying the onset of fatigue and enhancing overall performance. Research shows that carnosine can also slow aging in many ways. We'll discuss this later, don't worry. Essentially, the more beta alanine available in your system, the more carnosine your muscles can produce, and the longer and harder you can train and perform, and the more you can potentially slow aging. So, by supplementing with beta alanine, you're directly boosting your muscles' carnosine levels which is why it's such a favorite supplement among athletes and fitness enthusiasts looking to push their limits. But why not just take carnosine supplements instead of beta alanine? Because beta alanine is more bioavailable than carnosine when it comes to increasing muscle carnosine levels. Beta alanine supplementation has been shown to effectively enhance the carnosine content in muscles, which is more efficient than taking carnosine directly it can increase muscle carnosine levels up to 80% more than carnosine supplements itself. This is due to the fact that ingested carnosine can be broken down in the gastrointestinal tract before it can be utilized in muscles, whereas beta alanine is absorbed and then converted into carnosine within the muscle cells. How does beta alanine benefit exercise performance? Let's start with this. Beta alanine significantly enhances exercise performance, especially during high intensity activities. Here are the main ways it contributes. Beta alanine helps increase the concentration of carnosine in muscles, which acts as a buffer against the acid that builds up during high intensity exercise, thus delaying fatigue. The next thing beta alanine does, it improves exercise capacity. It's been found that beta alanine is the most effective for activities that last from 30 seconds to 10 minutes particularly when energy is produced to anaerobic glycolysis, which is a process where the body converts sugar, glucose, into energy in the absence of enough oxygen. The next one, it benefits neuromuscular fatigue, especially if you're older. Neuromuscular fatigue refers to the feeling of muscle tiredness and exhaustion that occurs when muscles are used intensely and for prolonged periods. It is caused by a decrease in the muscle's ability to generate force power and is often felt during and after strenuous exercise. Reducing neuromuscular fatigue could potentially benefit neuromuscular junctions, NMJs for short, 
which are the critical communication points between nerves and muscles. These junctions facilitate muscle concentration and are essential for all voluntary movements. When fatigue is reduced, the NMJs may experience less stress and dysfunction, potentially leading to better muscle function and health. Reducing fatigue can help maintain the efficiency of these junctions, which might deteriorate under constant excessive strain from ongoing high-intensity activity. NMJs play a significant role in aging and inflammation, among other things. Beta-alanine can help in this department. The next thing it does is supports the growth of fast-twitch muscle fibers. Beta-alanine is beneficial for fast-twitch muscle fibers. It supports the growth of these fibers by increasing the levels of carnosine in the muscle. Carnosine is particularly abundant in fast-twitch muscle fibers, which are primarily used during high-intensity activities. By supplementing with beta-alanine, the carnosine content of these fibers is increased, potentially enhancing athletic performance and endurance in activity that heavily rely on fast-twitch muscle fibers. Beta-alanine is actually considered human medicine that can fight chronic diseases. I repeat, human medicine. Let's take a look at what the human clinical trials say about this. Diabetes. Carnosine and its precursor beta-alanine play a significant role in managing and preventing diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes. Supplementation with beta-alanine, typically 4 grams per day, and carnosine ranging from 500 milligrams to 2 grams daily has been shown to slow the progression of type 2 diabetes and improve carbohydrate metabolism and decrease HbA1c levels and insulin resistance. These supplements work by reducing oxidative stress and enhancing glucose regulation in the body. This dual action not only helps in controlling blood sugar levels, but also mitigates complications associated with both type 1 and type 2 diabetes, such as those related to oxidative damage. Overall, the intake of these supplements could be a valuable addition to diabetes management strategies, promoting better metabolic health, and reducing the risk of diabetes-related complications. It helps brain health. Beta-alanine, along with its related compound, carnosine, has been shown to offer protective benefits for brain health, which is particularly important in the fight against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. These compounds work by neutralizing harmful substances in the brain, such as excessive free radicals and other toxic byproducts that can damage brain cells. This action helps maintain the brain's normal function and protects it from the damage that can lead to memory loss and cognitive decline. In simple terms, beta-alanine supports brain health by helping to keep the brain's environment stable and less hostile, which is crucial for preserving mental functions as we age. Research has found that supplements containing beta-alanine can improve mental sharpness and reduce symptoms in conditions that affect the brain function. This makes beta-alanine a promising addition to daily health routines, particularly for those concerned about maintaining brain health over time. However, more studies are needed to fully understand how best to use these supplements to support brain health. Next, it helps with sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is an age-related condition characterized by the loss of muscle strength and mass, which can lead to increased risks, falls, injuries, and overall decline in physical activity in older adults. Beta-alanine has shown promising results in fighting this condition. As mentioned earlier, it works primarily by increasing carnosine levels in the muscles. Carnosine acts as a buffer, reducing the buildup of acids in muscles during exercise. This buffering action helps maintain muscle strength and function which is crucial for preventing sarcopenia. Studies have demonstrated that supplementing with beta-alanine can improve older people's muscle function and physical performance. For example, a human study suggests that taking 1.6 grams of beta-alanine twice daily for 12 weeks significantly enhance muscle carnosine content and overall physical capabilities. Other studies have found benefits with varying dosages, suggesting that a daily intake of up to 3.2 grams of beta-alanine could help manage sarcopenia. This simple supplementation could slow the progression of sarcopenia and improve the quality of life for aging individuals. Now let's discuss beta-alanine in the context of aging and longevity and how it benefits both. I wonder why the longevity world overlooks this supplement. First, 
it can potentially extend the hay flick limit through carnosine production. Although we are talking about carnosine here, please remember, as mentioned earlier several times, that beta alanine is the primary limited precursor to carnosine. Without it, there is limited carnosine in your body. And as mentioned, beta alanine is the best way to increase carnosine in the body. Carnosine has been suggested to potentially extend the hay flick limit. The hay flick limit refers to the number of times a normal human cell population will divide before cell division stops, which is a phenomenon associated with aging. Research indicates that carnosine may influence cellular processes related to aging and potentially extend the hay flick limit, thereby contributing to the extension of cellular lifespan and the retardation of cellular senescence. Carnosine has been shown to potentially extend the natural lifespan of cells and promote their rejuvenation meaning it can help cells look younger and behave younger. Additionally, it has been found to encourage cells to divide, which is the key process in growth and healing. Overall, these findings support the idea that carnosine could be beneficial in life extension strategies, mainly to its impact on cellular aging mechanisms. Simply put, beta alanine is a potential senolytic that is completely overlooked by the longevity industry. The next thing it does, it can slow down the shortening of telomeres. Telomeres are protective caps at the end of chromosomes, I'm sure some of you are aware of it, that prevent DNA damage during cell division. As cells divide, telomeres shorten over time, which is a key factor in cell aging and eventual cell death. A specific study observed that adding carnosine to cultured rat fibroblasts, a type of cell, significantly slowed down the shortening of these telomeres. Although the study did not delve into the exact mechanisms, it suggested two potential pathways. The first one is protecting DNA from damage. Carnosine might protect the telomeres by neutralizing harmful molecules like reactive oxygen and nitrogen species that can damage DNA. The next one activates, potentially activates telomerase. There is speculation, though not yet proven, that carnosine might activate telomerase, an enzyme that helps rebuild telomeres. The next thing it benefits Carbonyl scavenging. Reactive carbonyl compounds, RCCs for short, can severely damage proteins, lipids, and DNA, forming harmful compounds known as advanced glycation end products, AGES, and advanced lipid peridoxation end products, ALS. Carnosine can interact with these RCCs, effectively sacrificing itself to prevent damage to critical cellular molecules. This action helps to protect cells from the aging effects caused by ages and ails. Next thing it can do is regulate metabolism. Calorie restriction and reduced glycolytic activity, sugar breakdown, have been associated with increased lifespan and reduced aging in various organisms. Carnosine inhibits sugar breakdown and stimulates mitochondrial activity, which can lead to reduced production of hormonal byproducts like methyl glycoxyl, MG for short, and less oxidative stress. This dual action helps improve cell health and longevity. Indeed, even this new human trial confirmed this. The next thing it can do is inhibit mTOR. mTOR is a critical regulator in cells that control various processes, including cell growth and metabolism. Generally speaking, activating mTOR increases energy production and provides materials necessary for cell division. On the contrary, inhibiting mTOR can decrease energy production from glycolysis and enhance the activity of mitochondria, which are the powerhouses of the cell. Similar to rapamycin, a known drug that suppresses immune function and has anti-aging effects, carnosine is suggested to mimic these effects by possibly inhibiting mTOR. This could mean that carnosine helps shift cellular energy production towards more efficient and less damaging processes, potentially contributing to its anti-aging effects. Now, let's talk about the potential side effects of beta alanine. According to a systematic review conducted to determine the safety of beta alanine to humans, paraesthesia, often felt as a tingling and prickling sensation on the skin, was the only side effects noted in studies where people took beta alanine. This sensation happens because beta-alanine affects certain nerve receptors in the skin, 
but it doesn't involve the usual allergy-related pathways. Typically, this feeling is short-lived and not harmful. Interestingly, some athletes feel that this tingling boosts their mood and performance during workouts, while other people find it uncomfortable and annoying. So it depends on the person. This difference shows that paresthesia's impact can vary from person to person. The intensity and occurrence of this sensation are linked to how much beta-alanine is in the blood and how quickly it reaches a peak level after being consumed. However, research suggests that paraesthesia can be reduced by taking the supplement smaller divided doses, 1.6 grams, or using a formula that releases the supplement slowly. Another study clearly states that beta-alanine is safe for healthy adults if taken within recommended dosages. Just to emphasize, researchers do not even consider paraesthesia as being an adverse effect in humans since there is no evidence that it is harmful. Let's talk about the recommended dosage. For increased muscle carnosine, a daily intake of 4 to 6 grams split in doses of no more than 2 grams each for at least 2 weeks is effective. This regimen can boost carnosine levels by 20% to 30% in 2 weeks and by 40% to 60% in 4 weeks. A higher daily dose of 6 grams divided into 4 doses of 1.5 grams each may be even more beneficial. To prevent paresthesia, that's the thing of sensation, it is recommended to take smaller doses of beta alanine, specifically 0.8 to 1.6 grams every 3-4 hours. Additionally, sustained release formulas are available that allow for larger doses without the risk of paresthesia. Now I would like to discuss how I take beta alanine. I take it a little bit differently. I take 5 grams 4 times daily, which results in 20 grams daily. I do not get any itchy feelings or any other side effects. I take it together with 5 grams of creatine as well. Yes, this is much more than the so-called recommended dosage. There are two reasons why I take so much. Number one, there is no upper limit identified in humans that determines if there are or will be any side effects. Studies have already used 12 grams daily with absolutely no side effects. Number two, there is no verified upper limit on increase in muscle carnosine concentrations. This suggests that continuous supplementation with beta alanine can consistently increase carnosine levels in muscle tissues regardless of the initial carnosine levels in the muscles. This means that even individuals with high muscle carnosine levels can experience further increases with ongoing beta alanine supplementation. There does not appear to be a saturated point all maximum capacity at which muscle carnosine stops increasing, implying potential continuous benefits in muscle performance and fatigue resistance from prolonged beta alanine use. Okay, that wraps up our discussion into the world of beta alanine. Today, we uncovered the significant role this naturally occurring compound plays in finding the signs of aging, boosting health, and enhancing athletic performance. It's important to note that the primary benefits of beta alanine aren't direct. Rather, beta alanine serves as a crucial precursor to carnosine, which is the real power behind these benefits. Want to increase your body's carnosine level? Beta alanine is your ticket. Absolutely. However, before you start any new supplement regimen, including beta alanine, make sure to consult with your healthcare provider. So, is beta alanine the secret to eternal youth? Perhaps not entirely, but it certainly is a key player in the ongoing quest for longevity and vitality. It benefits fast switch fibers and neuromuscular junctions, which I speak about a lot on my, on my channel. It improves exercise capacity and metabolic health. It protects you from numerous age-related diseases, and it's the only supplement I'm aware of that has been associated with extending the hay flick limit that's crazy. It inhibits mTOR and stops the production of advanced glycation end products and much more. Is this a supplement that should be headed to a longevity regimen? To me, it's a no-brainer. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share your thoughts or personal experiences with Beta Alanine in the comment section below. Until our next adventure, stay curious and keep diving into the science of longevity and health. See you again in my next video. Have a great day.